hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves us. Hallelujah. And he is our way maker, our miracle worker, our promise keeper, light in the darkness. Hallelujah. And there is none like him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thanks to God. Hallelujah. Is the hymn that he has placed on my heart. Hallelujah. And we are going to do some more on the <laughs> biblical numerals. Hallelujah. We're in uh, number 20. <laughs> number 20, redemption and reconciliation. He told me I was supposed to go through the whole entire Bible with that one. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you for redemption and reconciliation, Lord. You are so beautiful and wonderful, and we love you. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name, Lord. Give me the words to speak, Lord. Help us worship you with this song, Lord, and give thanks. And Lord, open the ears to hear and the eyes to see, Lord, as we go over the scriptures and help them see redemption and reconciliation. Hallelujah. And how much you love us and how much every bit of the Bible teaches <laughs> redemption and reconciliation hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you lord thanks to god for my redeemer thanks for all the thou dost provide thanks for times but all the memory thanks for jesus by my and dreary fall. <laughs> Thank you for all things. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> for tears by now forgotten. Thanks for peace within my soul. Have you got peace? <laughs> it's only found in Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for praying. storms that I have weathered. Thanks for all thou dost supply. Thanks for pain and thanks for pleasure. Thanks for comfort in despair. Thanks for grace that none can measure. Thanks for love beyond compare. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for roses by the wayside. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thanks for thorns, their stems. Oh, and I've gotten tricked by those <laughs> thorns on the stems. <laughs> yes. Thanks for home and thanks for fireside. Thanks for hope, that sweet refrain. Thanks for joy and thanks for sorrow. Thanks for heavenly peace with me. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for hope in the tomorrow. Thanks through. Jesus. Oh, 
isn't he wonderful? He's so wonderful. Hallelujah. Oh, he is our savior, our master, our redeemer. Hallelujah. Ooh. <laughs> this is the scriptures I've gotten out of this Bible. Hallelujah. But the Lord had me write them down. Hallelujah. <laughs> because it makes it a lot easier for me to go through them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so we left off last time. Uh, we were fighting for redemption. Hallelujah. <laughs> In Numbers 1 through uh, 1, 3. Hallelujah. So now we're continuing on. And this is Numbers 13, 19 through 20. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, this is... Uh, The Israelites were complaining, okay, about getting flesh to eat. And like like back in Egypt, they were looking back. We're not supposed to look back. We're supposed to look at right now what we have right before us and what Jesus is doing right now and go forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, 19... Hallelujah. Ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but even a whole month. This is God talking to Israel after they did all that complaining. Until it come out at your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you, because that ye have despised the Lord which is among you and have wept before him saying why came we forth out of Egypt despite okay so they were despising redemption wanting flesh to eat like back in Egypt so God said here get you some flesh to eat like you know <laughs> oh they're gonna have lots of flesh to eat <laughs> oh whoo no just stay content that's <laughs> thank you Lord in the right now hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus don't despise redemption numbers 14 18 through 21 hallelujah the Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation verse 19 pardon I beseech thee the iniquity of this people according unto the greatness of the mercy and as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt even until now verse 20 and the Lord said I have pardoned according to the word to thy word hallelujah but as truly as I live all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord hallelujah redemption hallelujah Bring your glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. God's redemption will see the whole earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for your redemption. Hallelujah. Numbers 20, verse 8. Take the rod and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron, thy brother, and Speak unto the rock, hallelujah, before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock, hallelujah. Jesus is the rock, hallelujah. And so thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink, hallelujah. Redemption, reconciliation, new beginnings, and resurrection, all in that. <laughs> oh thank you lord so we've got chapter 20 which is redemption reconciliation verse 8 8 is new beginnings and resurrection hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah 
Lord, we just praise you and we thank you. And if we speak to the rock, speak to Jesus, hallelujah, and he will give forth his water, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your water, hallelujah. Numbers 32, 20 through 23, hallelujah. And Moses said unto them, if ye will do this thing, if ye will go armed before the Lord to war, redemption, hallelujah, and will go all of you armed over Jordan before the Lord until he hath driven out his enemies from before him and the land be subdued before the Lord, then afterward ye shall return and be guiltless before the Lord and before Israel, and this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and ye and be sure your sin will find you out. Redemption is not cheap. It's free, but it's not cheap. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus, for redemption. Hallelujah. Judges 16, 20. Thank you, Lord. I want you to see how these scriptures go right along with redemption. Hallelujah. And the numbers. It, 16 is Jesus' love. Hallelujah. 20 is redemption and reconciliation. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 20. And she said, The Philistines... Be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. The Lord departed from him. And he didn't even notice. He didn't even know. He just relying on what, what anointing he had before. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Don't ever take redemption for granted. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's flirting with the things of the world will make you grow weak. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, Judges 17, 19. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, and this is verse... So, that's... This is... like an overview of 17 through 19 hallelujah judges and uh we're in 17 6 is the scripture in those days there was no king in israel but every man did that which was right in their own eyes they had no redemption they didn't have it because they weren't looking seeking god they're seeking their self in seeking men, false priests, false gods, false idol images, operating in your own flesh and own ideas, man's redemption doesn't last. It, it's not, it, it's like, it's empty. It, it's not, it's empty. Jesus help us. It's no redemption. Okay, Judges 20. Uh, through 21 this is an overview of judges 20 through 21 and this scripture the Lord showed me was 21 verse 25 in those days there was no king in Israel every man did that which was right in his own eyes they used their own counsel at first and then when it got hard like if you read those chapters okay they they all got together, okay, over the issue that was going on, but they took counsel among themselves. They didn't seek God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But when it got hard, okay, ask God of his counsel and which tribe should go first. And God said Judah. Then it took them three times to win the battle because they were not fully surrendered to God. Just partially. You can't just give God partial your life. You got to give him everything. You got to be at his feet. Oh, yes. Cling to his feet. Forsake your own way. Hallelujah. And go and seek God's way. Hallelujah. 
then at the end, they still, every man did that which was right in his own eyes. No king, no leadership. They didn't have God, you know. They, they only wanted to use God for what he could give them at that moment. You know, they, they were using the Lord. They partially surrendered. Okay, Ruth 20. Uh, Ruth 2, verse 20. Hallelujah. And Naomi said unto her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord, who hath not left off his kindness to the living and the dead. And Naomi said unto her, This man is near kin unto us, one of our next kinsmen. <laughs> Jesus brings us redemption, and he is our kinsman redeemer hallelujah he is so wonderful hallelujah and brings us redemption oh it's so wonderful okay first samuel 120 hallelujah wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about called his name samuel saying because i have asked him of the lord hallelujah the lord had shut up her womb the bible says uh 1 Samuel 1 5 Hannah kept seeking God and God redeemed her in his area in this area with giving her a son that she named Samuel hallelujah God will <laughs> provide hallelujah if you keep seeking him hallelujah not your way not your understanding but his way and his understanding hallelujah Whew, thank you Jesus Okay, 1 Samuel 2.20. And Eli blessed Elkanah and his wife and said, The Lord give thee seed of this woman for the loan which is lent to the Lord. And they went unto their own home. Hallelujah. Redemption and reconciliation coming forth. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 3.20. Hallelujah. And all Israel from Dan, even to uh, Sher, uh, Beersheba, knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. Redemption for the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 12, 20 through 22. Thank you, Jesus. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart, and turn ye not aside, for then shall ye go after vain things which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people redemption and reconciliation to himself with pleasure hallelujah thank you lord first samuel 14 14 through 15 hallelujah and that first slaughter which jonathan and his armor bearer made was about 20 men within as it were and half an acre of land which a yoke of oxen might plow and there was trembling in the host in the field and among all the peoples in the garrison and the spoilers uh those are uh revenging and plundering and uh they had turned returned with their booty <laughs> <laughs> and they also trembled and the earth quaked so it was a very great trembling and they got double deliverance rest and redemption <laughs> see that first first samuel 14 14 through 15 okay so we've got 14 14's deliverance hallelujah <laughs> and then it's 14 again double deliverance hallelujah 15 through 15 15 is rest <laughs> thank you lord for your rest and and it was a, about uh 20 men 
Hallelujah. 20. Redemption and reconciliation. Thank you, Lord. Woo, thank you, Lord. 1 Samuel 17, 20. Hallelujah. 17 is victory. 20 is redemption. And David rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going forth to fight and shouted for the battle. Woo, redemption. Thank you, Lord. 1 Samuel 24, 20. Hallelujah. And now behold, I know well that thou shalt surely be king and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in thine hand, said Saul to David. Redemption. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 30, 1 through 31. David and his men came on the third day. Three <laughs> is the perfect completion of timing <laughs> the third day you you read through the bible and you see all these things that happen on the third day the third day is the perfect completion of timing even jesus came in three fourteens three fourteen <laughs> cycles of generations from abraham to jesus hallelujah he came in the perfect completion of timing. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. On the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag and smitten Ziglag and burned it with fire and had taken all the women captive and slew not any. The enemy came and took all their women. <laughs> so David and his men came and found all their wives, sons, and daughters were taken captives. They wept until they couldn't weep anymore. David's two wives were taken captives. David was greatly distressed and the people wanted to stone him because the people were so grieved. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Hallelujah. David said to uh, Abith... Uh, mm, I don't know how to say that. Abithiar, the priest. Bring, it, bring me hither the ephod. And he did. Thank you, Jesus. This is like the Holy Ghost test that I always talk about. David's going to do a Holy Ghost test. Hallelujah. And David inquires of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. So David went, and six hundred men... 600 is man's warfare. 20 uh, divided into 600 is 30. Hallelujah. 30 is, now of course, 20 is redemption. 30 is dedication and blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But David pursued he and uh, 400 men. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For 200 men abode behind. So 200, we've learned, is insufficiency. <laughs> and 400 is 20 times 20, which is redemption, 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 and reconciliation. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, they, they abode behind too faint to cross the brook uh, Bazor. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread and he did eat. And they made him drink water. They gave him figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him 
for he had eaten no bread nor drank any water three days and three nights. There's that perfect completion of timing again. God has his perfect timing, hallelujah. David questioned him. He was a man of Egypt, servant to an uh, Amal Amalekite. He was left because three days ago he fell sick. They weren't going to wait for him. <laughs> the Egyptians brought David to the Amalekites and they were uh, eating and drinking and uh, dancing because of all the spoil they had taken. David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day and there escaped not a man of them same 400 young men which rode upon camels and fled. David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away and David rescued his two wives, nothing lacking to them, uh, small or great. And David took all the flocks and all the herds which they drave before those other cattle and said, this is David's spoil. And David came to the 200 men, which were so faint that they could not follow David, whom they made also to abide at the brook Bizar. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to the people, he saluted them, then answered all the wicked men and men of Bilal of those that went with David and said, because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered. Sure, uh, save to every man his wife and his children that they may lead them away and depart. Then David, then said David, ye shall not do so. My brethren, with that which the Lord hath given us, who hath preserved us and delivered and the company that came against us into our hand for who will hearken unto you in the matter but as his part is that goeth down to the battle so shall his part be the uh, tarrieth by the suffer uh, that tarrieth by the stuff they shall partake alike and it was so from the day forward that he made it a statute and an ordinance that Israel unto this day and when David came to Ziglag he sent the spoil unto the elders of Judah even to his friends saying behold a present for you of the spoil of the enemies of the Lord thank you Jesus naming all the cities and areas and to them which were in Hebron and to all the places where David himself and his men were wont to uh, to haunt <laughs> redemption God gave him redemption and reconciliation hallelujah thank you Lord all right we're gonna stop right there we're stopping at 2 Samuel 320 hallelujah well, let's read that one. So Abner came to David to Hebron and 20 men, hallelujah, with him. And David made Abner and the men that were with him a feast, double redemption and reconciliation. Woo! <laughs> it's the 20th verse, <laughs> hallelujah. And 20 men, hallelujah, double redemption, double reconciliation. God has it for us, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord, to do a song video. Lord, you are so beautiful and wonderful. We just give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your holy word, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, bless your day.